Uh, welcome. Let's it's get great it to going. See you. Thanks, yeah. man. Good to see you. I uh, uh, I just uh, DM'd Yellow Flash, a, oh. like about an hour ago, um, because he asked me to do a cover for him for this uh, for this book. Mm. And so uh, first he was like, "How much do you charge?" And I was like, "It's comics game, man. Just like pay me whatever whatever you want." Mm -hmm. And so um, so he threw out a price, and that seemed fine. And then um, just now I was like, "Hey, like I saw that Kelsey cover, looks pretty dope." Am I still gonna? You, you still want me to do? You still want me to do a cover? You still interested? And he was like, "Yeah, absolutely." So, oh, are you not doing the cover now? What happened? That just disappeared? No, no, it's still there. I mean, I was, I, you know, I, I, we talked a couple weeks ago. I said I was down for it, and then all of this stuff happened, and I DM'd him again. Was like, "Are you still interested in me doing one for you?" And he said, "Yeah." So. I mean, I'm comic skate. It's in my profile. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. But he, if he's not comic skate anymore, then uh, he's not going to get comic skate pricing anymore. Uh, well, right. Uh, comic skate. Oh, from you, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I guess not. I don't he's know. Like, I'm not comic skate. Okay, well, that's yeah. a different price scale then, sir. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't spare I'm him any kidding. money at all. Like in terms of uh, what you're charging him, again, he's going to have top notch promotion. Uh, yeah. There's absolutely no reason to uh, to do him that kind of a favor. Uh, he's going to make plenty of money. And if you're, mm. you know, it's not like if you're going to do a cover for someone and do it at a lower price, do it for somebody who probably isn't going to make seven figures on their first book. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, oh, that's what I've done. I've done a bunch of covers for people and it's it's comic skate, so I know that everybody has a budget, so it's just, you know, whatever you could pay is is what I'll I'm I'm down with. More normally you know. it's just like if the project is cool, you know, if the, if I think the project is cool, secretly, shh, don't tell anybody, but I'd probably do it for free, you know. I've done that. I, I like know. it, you know. I've done that. I can't do that anymore because I've got so much work to do that I've got to charge my regular rate now. But mm -hmm. when Yellow Flash, we talked about this last year, Yellow Flash reveals the quote that I gave him, which is, by the way, a no-no. You don't tell people, you mm -hmm. don't talk money with people. That is like the most uh, ridiculously, you want to talk about being professional. Uh, that is an unprofessional thing to do. You don't really do that. I mean, I can. Yeah. I can tell people what uh, I was paid if I want to. That's on me. Uh, but other people who have employed me talking about what mm -hmm. I paid them, this is inappropriate. So somebody goes, uh, didn't you uh, look at this? No more than two months ago, Yellow Flash. Can you see this? Let me blow this up in a different tab. Uh, all right, let me see. No more than two months ago, Yellow Flash requested a cover for EVS and Shane. He got. He wanted Shane to do one too. So lateness wasn't an issue until certain people, maybe two, not many. <laughs> I'm glad that's catching on. That's Dude, I love meme. that. <laughs> I love that. Uh, with big platforms for no. Okay, so uh, all right. So he's saying, hey, just a little while ago, you were like excited, you know. So Yellow Flash explains that in a very strange way. Uh, me, he wanted $4,000 plus sales of the book for the cover. Uh, which is uh, exactly what I told him. I said, man, listen, I'm really busy. I'll do it for four grand. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, cause you're, you're my friend, you know. Matt, he thought that was too much. What? That's what he's saying here. He goes, I later found out he charges his actual friends a lot less. Uh, Did you, I, I mean, you're adding at least an extra zero onto that campaign, yes. you know, if you have your, I mean, it's. Yeah, but he's got plenty of zeros now, tons of them to add to his campaign. So what's he need me for? Uh, he says, uh, all right, so I charge my actual friends a lot less. First of all, that's my prerogative and it's none of your business. Like I could do mm -hmm. them for free if I wanted to. You asked me what I would charge to do a cover for you. Mm -hmm. And that's the rate that I gave you. Uh, all all factors considered, uh, you know, my current schedule, whether I wanted to do it, uh, how I felt about you at that particular time, any of these things. He says drastically less. 
He says, this isn't the main issue, but I saw where my value was then. I, That's a little drastic. That's a little... Now I know what my value is. Really? Then what was it? Oh, I did didn't, he I, did he have a counter did he have a counter offer? Was he like, hey, I was thinking maybe a, a thousand? Or he was No, just, I, I don't want to say what he said to me, but sure, it was sure, sure. It, Yeah, it's like not anybody's business. But you know, he was he agreed to it, you know, but you know, let's wait a little while, you know, that kind of a thing. Uh so uh, that wasn't uh, that wasn't a problem. But there's uh, a whole bunch know. of people out there who's adding an extra uh, thing to their spreadsheet. Like, okay, four grand. We can get Ethan. Four, I'm not we, doing any for four grand. There's no fucking grand. way. We can get Ethan on there. I got so much. You know, I mean, the thing about it is, is when I do a cover for Cyberfrog or Fearsome or Rainbow the Brute, I make significantly more than that. I mean, way more than I even charge what my actual cover rate is because it's for my own book. I'm producing work for my own campaigns. Mm-hmm. There's, there's really like, there's no reason uh, for me to do covers for other people except out of friendship, you know? So, um, I said to him, uh, that's literally one third. Now, you know what I, what my cover rate is. That's literally one third of my cover rate for yellow flash on a project that would probably earn $1 million. And he's mad about it because I wouldn't do it for free. My cover for ice on number two, here's some facts, man. Mm -hmm. My cover for Ice on Number Two generated nearly fifty thousand dollars more than any other cover on that campaign. Right. So yeah. if you if you looked at all the covers, you added up what they brought in just in terms of uh, cover the cover price. My cover was selected more than any of the other covers, and it earned fifty thousand dollars more than the other covers that were equally priced. To be fair, I don't know what Shane's cover brought in. That was ridiculous. A hundred dollars for a foil variant that cost eight dollars wow. to print you gotta be wow. fucking kidding me wow. um fifty thousand dollars hundred dollars and it wasn't a whole story right it was like it was just the first issue it was the second issue it oh, was okay. the same thing in the interiors but it had a nice foil embossed cover and i know what those cost to print because i make them i sell those for mm -hmm. 20 to 25 dollars they're cyber frog unforgettable tales a hundred dollars is a lot to charge for that uh, retail. That doesn't give people who buy it very much leeway to resell it, which is like yeah. a real serious problem. Like people who want to buy a specialty comic like that, they want to be able to resell it. Yeah. And uh, they're selling for half that price right now on eBay. Somebody actually sold one and a hat for three dollars and twenty five cents, uh, oh. which is uh, that's got to that's got to burn a little bit. Um, so. Uh, yeah. So look, listen, I, I, my covers actually do make money. So peel me out mm -hmm. $4,000. Like what's the matter with you? Yeah. Like with that, with that in mind, knowing that that's the case, like, and I just go cheapo flash. Why are you out there telling people what my page rate is? Or at least what I quoted to you. Like, that's like, uh, that's not cool. No. Nah. Is that cool? Is that something that we do now? We tell people things like that? Mm. Mm. No, I don't think so. I, I would, I would, no. That's Why don't we do that? Why don't we tell people that? What are the, what do you think the reasons for that might be? Um, I'm not sure um, uh, with freelance, maybe, maybe people will like under, undersell you or like undercut you. You know, if you sit, tell somebody, hey, I'm working for this editor and I'm I'm doing the pages for 150, like maybe somebody's worried that you'll go in and say, hey, I'll do those pages for 100. So you kind of keep quiet. Or That's like, like maybe like the freelance level, but like yeah. corporate, it's like, hey, like don't talk about what you're getting paid. You know, that's like a, you know, a no, no, because you don't know what other people are getting paid. You don't know like how well you, you could lose your job for that. Yeah. Like yeah. if you, if you go around DC comics while you're working there, telling people what your mm -hmm. page rate is, especially if your page rate is particularly high, you could lose your job for that because then you got a bunch of other people going, why is he making that? How come I'm not making that? Uh, also you're telling people uh, what I charge. So uh, what if I want to charge somebody more because yeah. uh, I'm not as yeah. friendly with them as I am you or less. Uh, yeah. You know, what about, what about if, uh, like, cause I make my rates, I decide how much they are. What if I don't want people to know? What if there's that? Yeah. The other day I, I was talking about doing some pages and I called out like 120 bucks per penciled page. And like, those were the pages for, for PT's 
PTP's book, right? And I was like, ah, oh, the guy's got a stroke. I'm, I think it'll make his artwork better. And I said it on a stream. And then I, I got like several DMs from people like, so do you do, you'll do pencils for 120 bucks? And it's just like, no, not, no, no, yeah, I didn't now, say that. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? It's like, I'm, I'm, that's not what now I'm saying. Now that's your rate. Now that's what people yeah. see you as, you know, it's like, no, every, every job is a negotiation. You can't, other people mm -hmm. have no right to know. Every new job is an, a new negotiation. Yeah. Uh, so, but I think it's uh, amazing that he thought that was too high. Um, I thought I was doing him a favor. I was like, you know what? I'll do it for four grand, you know, pal. He's like, what? At your level, I mean, at your level of, of, as a commercial artist and the time that you're putting into that project, that's absolutely like fair. I, I hope so. Yellowfish tweeted right on time, shocked, uh, shocked stream, then deleted it. Uh, this is two hours after he said he was done with the drama. Get it together, yellow, yellow flash. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yellow Flash, you, uh, uh, honestly, I'll probably make $4,000 in Super Chats today. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the number one thing. 